What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to review Sea of Stars because I believe this game is so incredible and it brings back that classic RPG formula we all love from back in the day that started all, you know, in a modern day. Okay, so Sea of Stars is an indie game, not a huge, you know, AAA or AA game, but a huge game to our nostalgic hearts with, you know, classic RPGs that we all loved from back in the day. For me, I rarely play much indie games, but this one was on my radar whenever I saw it announced on the, I believe it was a Nintendo Direct. The game has had, you know, a lot of good feedback sales wise and just from people talking about the game, playing the game, content creators and stuff like that. The creators uh, from Sea of Stars even tweeted their sales numbers for the first week and it actually blew their expectations out of the water because they thought that it was gonna take a year to get those numbers and it only took a week, which is crazy to even think about because it was free or it is free on PS Plus and Xbox Game Pass as long as you have you know the subscription for it. So having those high numbers, you know, it really impressed not just them, but everyone around uh, that supported the game when it was starting up. It's also one of the highest rated games this year, which that alone is really hard to do because this year has been stacked and it's becoming one of the best years in gaming, one of the best years of gaming, right? So even to have a high rated game, you know, for your game to be high rated in this year is really hard. Okay, so first let's go over the graphics because to me this was the most impressive. I love how these, you know, indie games are improving their sprite graphics. You can tell the creators of this game put their heart and soul into this game because it shows, you know, the attention to detail. The game is so amazing, even though it's 16-bit sprite with maybe some 3D tricks here and there. It really impressed me on how the graphics looked, how the you know the water the area on the water for example climbing animations the different sound effects around the world i mean everything was just made with care which you could tell when you play the game if you play it yourself you could tell all the details all the stuff like that that they try to do into the game it really shows sometimes i would forget it was actually an indie game but then again you know i don't really play indie games so this is one of the few ones that i actually tried i love the world as well the world map the different environments the towns everything was just well done they really got creative with the world i love how you could fast travel technically on uh, another aerial map uh it's really different i never seen something like that done in a video game it's really unique how they came up with that next let's go over the gameplay the meat and potatoes about the game you know how is it well if you love classic rpgs you played Chrono trigger or mario rpg this will be up your alley and i feel it will feel right at home because it's actually how it felt when i played this game you know it's not really complex as chrono trigger it is more simple and a lot of mechanics um, that it has on the combat but it's still fun and challenging at times especially with those bosses in the game if you mistime your timings where you know you have to parry your perfect block or perfect attack your timings if you miss those it becomes really difficult at times i've, di I've died uh, a number of times actually there is basically an easy mode uh you know the the most example that i could give this is from final fantasy 16 where you would equip accessories that would help you perfect dodge perfect parry stuff like that right it makes the game easier so sea of stars does have something similar in that way where you could equip these relics where they help you with those timings, you know, perfect parries or perfect attacks and stuff like that. So it makes uh, the game easier for you if you, you know, you're having trouble with the game. But if you don't want that, you could just remove those items and just play it how it is, right? And like I mentioned in Mario RPG, that's where it has those timing mechanics, right? Where you have to time your attacks or time your blocks. So it takes inspiration from that game and you could tell whenever you play the game when you do those those uh combo attacks with your party members it's really satisfying to do you know it has fishing in the game obviously you can't have an rpg without fishing right another uh big thing that i noticed that i really liked in this game was how you traverse through different areas of different dungeons around the the game you know, you get this grapple, for example, where you could grapple and climb and swing and swim. You know, they have so many options in this game that I didn't think a, you know, sprite game would actually have stuff like that. But 
it's fun how they just added that you know and finally i want to go over the story without spoilers obviously because i don't want people to get spoiled i want people to experience the game for themselves right the story is not really crazy it's nothing you haven't seen before it's really basic and a little generic bite but in a really charmful way it, it is a good story don't get me wrong but it's nothing to make you feel you know emotional or honestly you probably won't even remember it after you played it right but it's good for what it is and like it said it's charming but it shines in the gameplay and the world building you know the story it's not something that you would play this game for right and honestly i didn't go in that way i did think you know it's not gonna be you know xenoblade chronicle story or you know the last of us or something crazy like that right but for what they did and how they told the story which is really simple right but it's not bad you know so you you would enjoy the way they told the story i would say sea of stars is one of the best in the rpgs or even rpgs in general that you could play in modern day it's so classic but also so modern so people that want to get into it could find it really entertaining and really easy easy to get into you know the game for me felt so much of a com comfort game it was such a chill game just enjoying the story the characters the gameplay the music you know it was incredible i forgot to mention about the music it was really good the music the sprites everything in the world i mean they did a good job in this game and i'm actually surprised that it is an indie game and i'm really happy that a lot of people got into playing the game it's doing good sales wise and stuff like that because who knows maybe sea of stars can become a new franchise that people will love especially if they make a sequel with a higher budget you know you could get even more people interested in the game have a bigger budget bigger graphics i mean you name it right so it could be something that in the future could be a big franchise right now i'm going to rate the game an 8.8 .8 because i really enjoy my time with it and i think people should really try out this game like i said you could play it on the ps plus if you subscribe to that or xbox game pass if you don't want to you know purchase the game for yourself you could try it out there they even have a demo for if you are uh, still not convinced or something like that then there's a demo out there as well because i do highly recommend this game i know it's stacked with games this year but honestly this is a hidden gem that people shouldn't miss but what do you think of sea of stars let me know in the comments below if you played it or you're interested on in playing it and i'll catch you in the next one peace